our party is headed to the second level of Betrayer's Rise, and we're going to talk about how we're prepping for it. So let's dig in. All right, everybody, welcome back. We're ready to prep for the second level of Betrayer's Rise. But before we do that, let's talk about our characters. So we have chosen our Bugbear Barbarian. We've got Dimitri, our Gnome Fighter, Iris, our Halfling Warlock, Jimmy, our Sea Elf Druid, and Trixie, our Human Artificer Wizard. Strong start for this one. We are going to jump straight into the room with the statue down below. This is like the main room for the entire Betrayer's Rise, aside from, you know, the prayer site. So... Uh, we're just going to read the box text. I've got that written here below. We'll read through that and have them decide what they're going to do from there. So last time at the end of it, they did discover this. We read through some of this, but just as a refresher for them, I'm going to reread the box text and then they can discover the pustules again and all that fun stuff. Scenes. So we're going to start with Betrayer's Rise and with Betrayer's Rise. I'm expecting this will take the rest of this session as well. And then next session, we'll have to worry about Ankarel. My party last session just booked it straight through. Well, I book it, right? They really just went straight through to the hallway with the little hole and then came down the hole with some rope and made it to this room where the statue is. I'm going to have them go through this like normal and destroy the pustules and have the little lights in the ground lined up for the triangle. Once that's all done, I'm going to have it lead to the statue and then there's going to be a little spot that's missing for a pendant that they need to go find. And depending on how quickly they find this pendant, it might be broken in half and find half here and half there. The reason I'm doing all of this and adding all of this is because right before you enter, you level up, and after the vision, you level up. So I want my party to have more things happen so that I feel like the level up is more warranted. The first piece of the pendant, maybe the whole pendant, depending on how long things are going, is with the orcs that are in R14 down below. There's a little pit of blood that boils over and can cause some damage as the orc war chiefs pray to Grumsh, I think it is. So I've got that added in there. That's something we will make sure that the party needs. So in order to, to finish the connection on the statue, we'll have to have that little pendant placed in there. I also may add an encounter or two from the random encounter table that you can find in the book. So D&D Beyond, this is, this is in the Betrayer's Rise section. You can see there's a couple of these. I'm pretty much okay with any of them, and I may end up just rolling. The only one that I'm worried about is the Baylor because that thing can pack a punch, and I think it'll TPK my party. You can see the challenge rating is 19. Rough guess about what they can handle is around 15 in a single encounter, and they've already been kind of drained a little bit as I've gone throughout, so I'm a little bit hesitant to throw the Baylor at them. The rest of them I'm good, but the, Grab, uh, the Glabrezu I'm fine, Kazmaze, Ropers, Nightmares, Balguros, those are all fine, Yokels. The jellies, Shadow Demon's fine. And then I may uh, roll on this one instead. And these are all the same, essentially the same entities with the addition of the Gloom Stalker, which I'm fine with any of these. We'll see how it goes. Um, and I may roll and decide I don't want any of these and roll on this table instead. And that's totally fine. Just something that'll challenge them a little bit because the only real battle that they've had so far is with the Gibbering Mouthers. And we'll see how that goes. So most of the battles in Betrayer's Rise, here it is actually, are up on the first floor. So my party went this way, straight through and down to R10. They didn't end up battling the Dancing Flames. So the other encounter battle encounter you can have is in R8 over here with some Driders and Giant Spiders. And then the other one is some Flame Skulls that come out of this little area here. And then, oh, I guess down here, there's also the battle with the Orc War Chiefs. So, and a Varrock. But we'll see. We'll see how it goes. That's what I'm planning to add so that my party spends more time in Betrayer's Rise. And I feel like the level up is more warranted. So let's go back to our session notes. Secrets and clues, these are just things they can find out from Elixian after they have the vision. They have a chance to ask some questions of Elixian, and so this is what the book offers. I haven't added anything here. NPCs that they may run into, they're going to run have question with them the whole time. At, after the vision, they're going to run in, into Aloysia, Io, Dermot, Galsariad, Maggie, and Irvin. So the rival party is going to be there, and we'll see how that plays out. I am on the fence on whether or not I want them to just be friendly, because my party is pretty friendly with the rivals right now. I may have them roll a persuasion check and see how that goes to determine if they're going to fight or not. For sure, the rival party is not going to kill them. They will leave them incapacitated at the very most. Monsters! These are just the same as last week. I'm not going to go over all of these things that they can run into here in Betrayer's Rise. This time I expect they'll fight the Orc War Chiefs, and that's probably it besides the random encounters we roll. We've talked about this before, but here are the different treasure items that they can find. Again, Chosen, they've got to add him the Crystal Blade, which gives a 1d8 Radiant Damage. Dimitri gets the Cloak of Displacement, which gives disadvantage on attack rolls against Dimitri. Iris is going to have the Jewel of Three Prayers in its Awakened State. Jimmy, I'm going to give him the Moon Sickle Rare, which is a plus one attacks and save DCs. And then Trixie, we're going to give her companion 
the professor orb bonuses and we'll see how that goes so i'm doing this because i feel like uh, a couple of sessions ago they're like why are we doing this again we're just helping this guy out and i think it was actually trixie that kind of asked the question well why are you guys all doing this and they're like well i don't really know we just said we would because we want to help and jimmy's like yeah helping is great we're also going to give them some items as a blessing from Avandra. And that's pretty much it for this session. Thank you guys a ton for watching. I do appreciate it, and we'll catch you in the next one.